Hi, I'm Andrew Moy. In this video, we're going to be talking about the double spay. But before we get started, I just want to talk a little bit about how I got started in spay casting. Um, about 20 years ago, uh, just uh, was doing a lot of fly fishing, obviously, and uh, I just, you know, saw this whole thing about spay casting. I did a lot of salmon fishing, um, and I wanted to, to translate that salmon fishing into an easier cast. Uh, and that's where I started to get into spay casting. Uh, started working on some casts with some friends, a couple people that, that knew some spay casting, were, were familiar with it. Um, spent a lot of time videoing myself. Um, I would leave uh, the fly shop and, and run down and, and practice video, practice, practice, practice. So lots of practice. Taking a video of yourself is not a bad idea. Um, it really helped me see things I was doing wrong to be able to, to make adjustments. So uh, just a little bit on getting started with, with spay casting. So today, we're going to be doing the double spay. Um, this is a very important cast and a, and a very versatile cast. Uh, it's not hard to execute if you follow some basic principles. Now, I teach it a little different than a lot of people. A lot of people teach to cross your arms, um, and that certainly works. There's not a lot of casts, though, where you start in this position. So I'm a little bit more of a fan of just holding my hand, so palm up, palm down. And when you set the anchor, focus on keeping your, your casting hand, your upper hand palm up all the way through the anchor set. And to set the anchor, it's kind of like all the things I've been teaching about using the body and then follow through. So when you set the anchor, you use your body and then you follow through to drop the anchor. Okay. And if you do that right, you'll get a very consistent anchor. Now on this Scandi line here, the, the, pop, the, end, of the, the end of the Scandi head is right there and the poly leader is down in my anchor position. So when you're aligning your anchor and you're setting your anchor correctly, what you want to be looking for is you, you, you look at your target and you want to look that the tip of the Scandi head or your fly line, where it meets your leader, or in this case on the Scandi line, the poly leader, where that junction is meeting the, the leader is in line with your target. So if I'm casting across here, I want the tip of the Scandi line to be right in line. That means that my leader and stuff is in the proper anchor position. Now, if I just put a bend in the rod, I keep my palm up, palm up. I'm going to put a, I'm going to come over the top, bend the rod with the body, and then just lay it down, follow through. And now, if you notice, I'm in a very comfortable position to start my cast. This is where I start when I do a single spay, when a switch cast, really every cast starts here. And then from here, I'm not going to move my arms. I'm just going to rotate level, follow through it perpendicular, and cast. So let's do that again from the beginning. Relax, palm up, use your body to bend the rod, float the anchor into position, get the rod up about five feet above the water, track the rod level, follow through at three o'clock, cast to your target. And when you get to three o'clock, let's talk about three o'clock. And we had talked about three o'clock in some previous videos. So target is 12 o'clock, three o'clock is perpendicular. If we look at a clock this way, so 12 o'clock, Three o'clock is where I stop my body and I just let my hands follow through. So I rotate body, hands follow through, cast. And if you notice that that D loop is aerialized, it's, it's just above the water. You don't want the D loop down. So if I drop my hands or drop my elbow, I'm going to drop my D loop. So for example, if I were to set my anchor, okay, and I come around and I drop my elbow, I'm going to start to drop that rod and you're going to start to drag the line in the water. You're going to get an anchor that too much anchor and not enough D loop. You want to keep that rod tip up level there. There's my D loop cast. Don't put a lot of effort into your forward cast. Follow the principles of the forward cast we talked about in some of the other videos. And that principle again is that when you're coming forward to just pull the rod with your legs, pull short hands just snap your hands so one more cast over the top of the body palm up lay the anchor down rod up level follow through fast hands thank you for watching as always hope the video helps you